Today is the 2024 presidential elections here in El Salvador. Welcome back to the channel. I have missed you so much. Oh my gosh. As always, there are subtitles available in both English and Espanol. Though you may need to click on that little CC icon somewhere here on YouTube, depending how you're watching this video. Today is Elections Day in El Salvador, and Carlos is going to go fulfill his civic duty if we want to take you with us. Do you know where we're going? Yeah. And I just got to go to the website. Well, it's called Tribunal Supremo Electoral, and then I just type in my Dewey number. Ooh, we'll zoom out for that. And then I look myself up, and then it gives me Google. And I can tap on it. And now we know where we're heading. Awesome. And where we need to vote. So I know in the States, most of the polling places are at schools or at postal offices. Is it the same in El Salvador? Yeah, there's, there's a public... Uh, places where they, they set up the polling stations, their schools, their public schools, um, and even private schools. Yeah, I, mean, I know everywhere. all the girls have the next two days off of school and they are stoked about it. So, Adi was thankful. <laughs> of course she was. <laughs> but let's go ahead and hit the road, you guys. Let's take you with us. So, let's go. Okay. 
You do it too. Put, just stick your finger just a tiny bit. Yes, sir. And you too. So we voted it already. Yay. Let me see your fingers. Yay! And Fee, where's yours? Woo! What do you got there, ladies? Woo! We all voted. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so how was the process? Easy. Easy. I mean, even parking was easy. And then you get in. I mean, they, you find yourself on the on the list. You go to the people they guide you. They give you the the, the, the pamphlet things, and that's it. It's you easy. It. And then you put your finger in this thing that's gonna take like three or four days to go away. So they know you voted already. So it's <laughs> awesome. Easy. It is Five awesome. Minutes, three minutes. At three the most. minutes. And there were no complications. I couldn't film him voting, of course. The important thing is everybody gets to vote. This is awesome, you guys. Did you guys have fun? Did you see, did you like the process? Yeah? It's hot though. It is hot. <laughs> How long are your fingers gonna be that color? Three. Three days. Yeah. So Carlos just voted. He just did his civic duty, he did his thing, he's got his black finger folks. Well, uh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and drive around all of San Salvador so you can see what the city looks like today and see democracy in action. This is history in the making, and I wanna take you with us. So it's a chemical reaction that dyes your finger, right? I don't know. Some but sort of magic? Yeah, it's a spell. <laughs> I put the spell on you. And now... You voted. And it does smell like vinegar. <laughs> and Very it strong. takes like three days to come off. It starts off like green clear and then it quickly turns very black. Yep. That's awesome! So fun fact, in El Salvador, you have to be at least 30 years of age to be president. Whereas in the US, you have to be 35 years of age. Another funny difference is so both the US and El Salvador say that you need to be a citizen of that country in order to be president. The US clearly defines that you need to be born inside the United States in order to be president. So while Luna over here is a U.S. and Salvadoran citizen, she cannot be president of the United States. But I have to be crazy right here. You can. Luna for president of El Salvador, 2050. I'm eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> Vote for Luna. just overheated so we'll get some more road footage for you in just a moment but it's definitely warm today Come to Salvador to film here.
quick run to the grocery store before heading home, and I wanted to show you what the alcohol aisles here currently look like. What you're witnessing is the ley seca, or the dry law here in El Salvador, meaning it's actually illegal to purchase or consume alcoholic beverages the day before, of, or after the elections. But don't worry, if you want a beer, they're back on sale again Tuesday. So we're back home now, and they just closed all the ballot, all the ballots. They I can't even speak. It was hot today. <laughs> so we are back home now and they have just closed all of the voting booths and they are starting to tally all the votes. This is exciting. Sí, la gente de Nuevas Ideas contando, ya tenemos el resultado de FML. 16 votos. 16 votos en FML. Hacemos un rápido conteo. FML 16. 16. Perfecto. El FPS está. 1. 28. 28 votos. Un voto impugnado. Un voto impugnado. Tres votos nulos y, un, y una abstención. Tres votos nulos y una abstención. Nuestro tiempo, 18 puntos. Nuestro tiempo, 18 votos. Nuevas ideas continúan contando los votos. 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 156, 156. We cannot end an election night without a Salvadoran feast. What are we having tonight, mi amor? Pupusas. Pupusas <laughs> and yuca. Come here, let me show you. Okay. Okay, so we have yuca sal cochada. We have yuca frita with chicharrón. We have pupusas. We have, well, we have two kinds here. We have revueltas. So this is... For you guys, right? Yes, yes. Delicious pupusas. Here's, this is you. This is this Phoenix. Yeah. These ones are chicharrón y queso. Oh. Those are mine. And this is my pupusa. This is a jalapeno pupusa. And I had to change my shirt because I don't trust myself eating pupusas in a white shirt. It's just a thing. So always pupusas with your hands, no utensils, when provecho. It's preliminary, but he's saying he got 85% of the votes. Okay, that's it. So now you're <laughs> so Naive just announced, based on the preliminary votes that he's already won, it's just a matter of by how much. Now, while nobody is truly surprised, because as the incumbent president, he was expected to win by a world record breaking landslide. But it's it's semi official now. We're still waiting while they tally up the rest of the votes and for him to make the official announcements he just announced on Twitter over here. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So that's downtown right now. Yep. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Wish I could be there. <laughs> for real. For real. We wish we could be there, but right now we are watching it from home with our chiquitas, <laughs> eating our pupusas. It's just impossible for us to all be down there as a family right now, but we are there in spirit and it is amazing. It, it looks incredible. We weren't able to go the last time either, five years ago. The whole city exploded and we wanted to be there, but Phoenix was only one at the time and it was totally impossible. But I am just grateful to get to be a part of this history in the making and have been able to witness it today and to be able to share this with you guys. This is incredible. This is incredible. I can say, as somebody who has had the privilege to have lived in El Salvador for the past 14 years, I don't have words. I don't have words. I, I, I fell in love with El Salvador the first day I stepped foot on this amazing country and, and I, I loved it then. I love it now and I'll love this country tomorrow come whatever may. But I am so proud and feel so privileged to have been able to witness everything that has happened 
and everything that is going to continue to happen. And to be able to raise my Salvadoranian daughters here in El Salvador, the safest country in the world. I feel so proud right now. El Salvador ha roto todos los récords. Este día, El Salvador ha roto todos los récords de todas las democracias en toda la historia del mundo. Gracias. Pasamos, pasamos de ser, literalmente, literalmente, no es una exageración, no es una hipérbole, literalmente, pasamos de ser el país más inseguro del mundo a ser el país más seguro de todo el hemisferio occidental. El país más seguro de todo el continente americano. Ahora, en estos próximos cinco años, esperen a ver lo que vamos a hacer. Porque seguiremos haciendo lo imposible y seguiremos demostrando en el mundo el ejemplo del Salvador. Que Dios los bendiga a todos y muchas gracias. Who needs to be the president? I'm gonna vote. Naive vote. 